is the clinical trial startup webinar using a work breakdown structure or WBS for effective planning. My name is Marla Helly and I will be your trainer. Just a little bit about me. I have been in clinical research for a little over 25 years. I do have experience both working as a site coordinator and then also working on the sponsor and CRO side. I do have certifications in both ACRP as a CCRA as well as certified through PMI as a project management professional. And this course in particular is one that I developed because there are so many challenges that we face whether we are a sponsor, a CRO, or coming from the site when we look at clinical trial startup. And so in particular, I really like to share an example of how this particular model was used in some trials that I managed that we actually found was very effective in our team's ability to manage startup and also help work with our investigative sites to enhance our turnaround time in the startup process. What I really have done, and I hope that this is going to help you, look at planning from the aspect of coordination with our sites or if you are outsourcing to a CRO to help them identify the timeline necessary to ensure that basically you don't have a site that says, well, the reason why I have a delay is we haven't gotten this into our IRB. And so what I have done is develop a tool to say, well, when does your IRB meet? Who is going to be doing the IRB submission and how much time will you need and looking at when they meet. So then we can map out a calendar or a timeline to make sure that you stay on target and we work with you to stay on target versus, oh, yeah, we're getting around to that or just like the contract. Oh, yeah, well, it's sitting there with the contracts department and the academic center, which we know that can hold our timeline up because, oh, I don't know what the left hand and the right hand are doing at the investigational site. So if I know who I can contact ahead of time in the startup process, once we basically have done our site initiation or site qualification visit and we send out a startup packet, now we're under the, the time frame of let's get our sites initiated. So trying to make sure that we can help our sites become better at working with us to put together a process. And I don't know if this is what you experience on your end where the site says, yeah, we're working on our IRB submission, but you don't know where they are or when they're going to be submitting the IRB submission. Does that ever happen to you? It does happen a bit in the U.S. More frequently it happens actually uh, just because they're, they're their timelines and their timeframes for, for their review tend to be a bit different and they tend to be a bit lengthier. We do have some, some site difficulties in the U.S. as far as submission and getting feedback when okay. they have to use the IRB. It's usually yeah. a bit different if you're using a central. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that this will help apply. And then what I have done is use this to then help kind of drive both, and I've done this in both sites in the U.S. and outside the U.S. I know outside the U.S. the process is a little bit different. I streamlined this more in the U.S., but we can look at how you tweak because usually they want to have first the contract because that contract is part of their submission to their ethics committee. But this can still kind of help because you've mapped out timelines versus people saying, okay, well, what's a target for us to work towards? And that's really the goal here is looking for a target to help aid teams in meeting deadlines because otherwise it just kind of sits there on deaf ears and people aren't looking at how do I expedite this process. So I hope that this is beneficial for you. Alrighty, so with that then, we'll look over our learning objectives. So the learning objectives 
for today's webinar are to identify three benefits of using a communication plan during clinical trial startup. We're going to look at or examine the work break breakdown structure in clinical trial startup, and also we will identify situations where the work breakdown structure have a positive impact on clinical trial startup planning. Also, too, I think sponsors and CROs need to look at new methods of helping investigative sites navigate through the startup process. Mm -hmm.